Hi, in this video we're going to use Excel VBA to uh, move or copy rows or columns. So the first task is to move this column so it's the first column in our table well before column B. So uh, first of all I need to be able to refer to that column so I use the columns object and uh, it's column F so I put that in quotation marks and uh, first of all I'm going to move it so let's say cut cut will move it and then i need to say where i'm going to move it to so the way one way of doing that is just to specify the column you want to insert it before and we can just use the insert uh, method to do that so here we go if i press play it moves the column okay now i'm just going to get rid of the uh, fill and let's try it with two columns. So I'm going to select two columns this time and do the same thing. Go to yellow background. You can see what exactly what I'm doing. So to do this, all you need to do is specify the range of columns you want to cut or to move. So F colon G in quotation marks. If I press play, it moves uh, both columns. Now, uh, again, I'm going to get rid of the formatting. If you did want to copy a column, it's pretty similar to what we've just done, except that you'll obviously use the word copy rather than cut. So that's just going to be G. So let's see if, how this works. And you can now say I've got a copy of the sales 2011 column. Uh, column. What about with rows? Well, it's going to be very similar. I'm just going to comment out these columns uh, lines there. So with rows, again, it's rows plural, and I just give the numeric number. So say I wanted to move Barbara's row, row eight. I would put my row eight in there, and then if I wanted to move it, I'd say cut, and then I'd say rows, and insert it above row two so rows two dot insert so let's see if barbara ends up uh, at the top of the list there when i press play and as you can see that she has done exactly that if it's a couple of rows uh, be careful that you do use your double inverted commas to express that so actually that's the wrong thing that's these ones i want to move so it would be double inverted commas, let's say seven to eight. Do put it in the quotation marks. Single row, quotation marks not needed. A range of rows, you do need it. So I'm going to cut them. It will be copied to copy them, obviously. Cut to move them. So I'm looking at Barry and Bernard now being at the top of the list. Let's see if that works. Barry and Bernard are at the top of the list. Okay, so that's how you kind of move within a worksheet or well, what if you want to move uh, to a different worksheet so I've set up sheet two so uh, it would be fairly easy if you knew exactly where you wanted the rows to end up so again we'll we'll move seven and eight so it's Beatrice and Brenda and what I need to do is specify the worksheet that I want to move the rows too so I can say worksheets open bracket uh, and then the name of the sheet sheet two close bracket rows to insert okay so that should end up there okay so let's see exactly how this works uh, I'm gonna copy that'll be easy so if I press play and there we are, they've ended up there for you. Looks a bit ugly there, but that's because we copied one of the columns, but you can see that it has in fact worked. Now, a trickier thing would be to uh, paste the, uh, the data in below existing data. That might be a little bit trickier, but let's see if we can do it. Um, so uh, worksheet sheet two now what we can do is if we start 
in um, cell A1. So if I say range A1, and I want to be able to uh, kind of move down to the last uh, used row. So I can use the end property here, and I can say I want to move Excel down. So I'm moving down, that's like doing control down arrow key on your keyboard. End Excel down, uh, that will take me down to the last uh, used row, but then I want to insert beneath that, so I'd say offset, one row down, no columns across. Then what I can do is to specify that row, I can say entire row, okay, and then insert. Right, let's see if that does work. So what I've said is I've gone to worksheet sheet two, selected A1, I've gone Excel down, which takes me down to the last used row. I've moved down another row, uh, which then I am able to insert a row um, uh, above. So let's see how this actually works, if it's gonna work. So I'll just press escape to get rid of my marching ants. So row seven and eight, I'm gonna copy and they should end up below the existing rows here. Okay, let's see if this in fact works. Now, let's not do seven and eight because I think we already have Beatrice and Brenda there. Let's say we're gonna go for row four. Get rid of that altogether, row four. Let's see if this works, so if I press play. And there we have it. Barbara. Barbara uh, was copied and she's moved down below the existing records that we had on that other sheet. Okay, so lots of different methods. I'm sure you can think of 101 other scenarios, uh, but I think that's enough for this video tutorial. Uh, thanks very much for listening and hopefully that's been useful.